I'm here with uh, Skip Hoover. Um, what are you talking about here at the show? Hey, hey thanks for coming by. Um, what we're exhibiting is our new spatial combined amplifier technology. And um, we have it on display here at MTTS 2010. So thanks for coming by and seeing us. Um, what we have is a technology that, that is good for power amplifier applications for uh, electronic warfare, data links, and SATCOM applications. Uh, these come in different uh, band varieties, the broadband and narrow band, 2 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz, and 20 gigahertz to 45 gigahertz, or any segment in between. Okay. And the way these work, uh, uh, we can send you a white paper on it, basically the signal comes in and gets split by a splitter in this side of the device. The signal then becomes a TEM mode signal that's picked up by the antennas that are inside this. And I've taken off four of the trays so that you can see the inside. But what we have here are antennas on both sides of the circuit card. The signal then gets transitioned to the amplifier device, which is in this small ceramic package. Um, it's amplified equally. There's 16 of these channels, so each of them amplifies it. It comes back out, gets recombined. So the signal is effectively about 15 times the power level of a single mimic chip. So if you go and talk to the people at uh, some of our suppliers like TriQuint or Cree or some of those, look at their devices, their power devices. In your mind, multiply that by 15 or 15 times, and that's the kind of power we can get out of this device. Great. Uh, we can get broadband and narrowband, uh, power levels from 20 watts to several hundreds of watts, depending on what the application is. Um, they're usable outdoors or in 19-inch uh, configurations for test equipment as well as for tactical applications. And um, we patented this device about three years ago and we recently got a lot of acceptance from the uh, DOD community, especially Air Force and Navy and some Army applications. And so we're working very closely with major OEMs as well as our DOD partners to replace TWTs with this device. The advantage being that it's solid state so the uh, uh, MTVF is at least 10 times, maybe 20 times as much. Also, it doesn't have a high voltage power supply. So we're able to eliminate that, which is a high failure item and a costly part of the system. And the other thing I'll mention is that this is redundant in the sense that each of these 16 elements um, works independently as well as combined. And so what we can do is uh, even if one of them were to go bad, the other 15 is still working. And so you get uh, graceful degradation. So it's a nice advantage to it. So as our friends in the uh, GAN and gas world develop new chips, we'll be able to implement them in this integration and have them out. Great. Thank you so much.